All right, here we go. T1 chose blue. Caitlyn banned. Okay, here we go. Now Yumi is disabled, and so is Viego. I mean, we're gonna have to say we're gonna have to wait and see more draft development. I would say that KT are ahead right now in draft as we head to R4. It's easier for them to, I think, play out the remainder of this draft because you can you can just get like you can get Scion access on like R4 unless T1 bans it. I mean, I think that you can just get anti Elise combo champions and you can blind it on on R4 top and then you counter pick mid. All right, they're gonna do. Okay, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna do Gwen blind because it's an anti it's an anti Elise. No, okay, Renekton. So they're gonna take Renekton so that Elise doesn't have that combo. And so now, what is T1 actually gonna take here? Do they really unironically take Gragas or something? Oh my fucking god, man! These drafts are so boring. No, dude, it's not blind LeBlanc. Not with Elise in the jungle. Do you actually just have to go Gwen? I think you do. I think you have to go mid Gwen. No. I, what is the interaction on Kasanti with Unstoppable and the Vigar? I actually don't know the interaction. Maybe Vigar is playable here. This is pretty weird. Honestly, I think I would rather play KT's draft. I just don't think that's the best R5. I don't really know what to, to actually even say right now. That isn't just like super surface level. There's like, there's there's nothing. We're just going to play ping pong with, with, the, with the waves. So what's going to happen here is the owner's going to recall. He's going to run bottom. He's going to do golems. And then after doing golems, he'll he'll go bot and he'll summon the Rift Herald. They're going to get bot turret. They're going to end up recalling after that. Lucian will end up getting his Gale Force. He'll recall. They'll recall. They'll end up lane swapping. They'll probably go to mid lane. Kasanti will go to bot lane. Like, I, pff, what else is there to say? Yeah, here comes Elise. Okay, Blast Cone over. Okay, we're just going to skip golems. We're going to skip golems. Okay. We're going to skip golems. Elise is going to go human form as she touches the river. Oh, no, never mind, because the, the, okay, there it is. Yep, human form, touches river, okay. Looking for Wukong, looking to see if he's anywhere. Elise, spiderling up. Okay, here we go. We're going to summon the Rift Herald. Okay, nice calling. Gets a lot of damage onto aiming. Aiming super low. Okay. Now, with the damage they just did to Aphilios, they don't actually have to summon Rift Herald here. Because now Lucian can just get another plate by himself. Now, at this point, you could actually go mid as owner right now with Faker's Wave, and you could summon Rift Herald to get two turret plates. That would be way better. Uh, this is this is a waste, by the way. Everything owner's doing right now is a waste. He should have he should have just been mid. What on earth is he doing, man? What on earth is owner doing? He's griefing. Okay. See, so Guma Guma and Karia get the plate by themselves. Imagine if owner just ran mid while Vigar's on base, summons Rift Herald with Faker crashing in the wave. You get two turret plates. Then you go back into your fucking jungle and you just perma farm. But instead, we're 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 you know I mean we're we're just running around. Praying that the opponents are just gonna, you know, face check and and get cocooned. Now he's gonna do golem into immediate reset into pink ward. What, what are we? What are we doing? What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Now they're gonna have their bot lane reset as well because they need to get the gale force. No, hold on. They're gonna cheese. Are they cheesing? Yeah, they're cheesing. Aiming. Okay, aiming stud. <sighs> nice reaction. Bull vigil comes out, gets killed. Okay. They cheese, they cheese aiming. I mean, aiming, aiming is probably mentally out of the game. Okay, we have a 4,000 gold lead right now by uh, by T1. Now, if you're a T1 fan, the dragon that you want to come up is definitely Hextech. Chemtech sucks. I mean, Chemtech's not terrible, because no one here wants to get Merc Treads for Vigar, but the tenacity will help. All right, Zeus. Zeus forced to flash away. Keen not gonna be able to. Keen not gonna be able to chase. Okay. When you end up going rapid fire cannon and you you skip going either Infinity Edge or Navery second, it's mostly because you're saying that you need to immediately make use of the gold at that specific moment. Okay. Owner goes into the sky. I mean, okay. Uh. Okay. They find a kill, yeah. Let's take a look at uh, all the levels everywhere. So BDD is ahead of Faker. I know that Faker just dinged 12, but BDD was 12. Guma, a level up over aiming. One level down is Caria, interesting, uh, compared to Lehens. Gets the Shirelias out. They should be able to get the uh, the turret on this wave. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to back off and actually go through the red side jungle. Uh... Huh? Kasanti! Oh, and then Faker says, get over here! Oh, and they get it! 
The Wukong was like the one champion. Meanwhile, look what's happening in mid. Look what's happening in mid. Dude, that was a sick that was a sick play. That was a sick play. Faker Faker just said I'll be I'll be taking you with me. Oh my lord. Realistically, I think the game ends off of one fight. So it's either going to be at uh, Chemtech Drake, or it'll end up being at Baron. Chemtech is really good against Wu, Renekton, and uh, Vigar, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, you could actually have an argument where T1 just doesn't take it, so they don't let Elder spawn, because that's the only way for KT to come back and win this game, would be Elder Steel. So I think there's a legitimate argument into intentionally not taking the dragons. This used to be a thing that I used to talk about all the time before. T1 now, they're gonna start up. Yep. I mean, it could have been a repel over the wall. Owner could have repelled over the wall, taking the Blast Cone. Oh, he's just gonna auto it. Oh, you don't actually need to. Okay, at least have, has enough range. Cool. How funny would it have been if if Cuz was accidentally standing on it and then got you know popped in? Okay, so Faker it was looking to bring Lehens over to his team to complete him. The only way to lose the game is a Baron steal. Like the only possible way to lose. Okay. All right, well, that's that's one kill. Okay, Keen, looking like he's going to be able to get... Oh, my God! Mm. Kyria! Now, if T1 had had the Baron, the game would just end on the spot. But now, they buy themselves a lot of time. But also, I mean, I, I feel like the last 12 minutes of literally nothing happening just shows the weakness of T1's team composition even though they had everything go the way that they could have wanted. Also, the, the GA on, on Guma just seems a little strange. Again, I think Silvermere Dawn just does everything but better. It gives him a lot of HP, gives him the QSS so that he can't die. They have Elder, now they win. Now, the only thing is is that I, I, I do, it, it also does seem like Kazanti can't pass through Vigar's Event Horizon. So that's one thing that I would say, it doesn't matter. When, when you have Elder, the opponents are all playing with like 30, 40% max HP. Um, Elder is just way too broken. I, I really do stand by the idea, the notion that teams don't get to play with Elder enough, so they actually don't realize its power um, and, and like how broken the team fights can actually be. Especially because Elder fights take place so quickly and explosively that it also makes it a little difficult um, for I feel uh, for I feel like pro players uh, or I feel like for pro players to develop like memory uh, or like muscle memory of of the fights or like what what elders actually doing <laughs> very nice very nice all right and it looks like t1 uh, they, they, uh, they want kda they want kda oh <laughs> guma flash but he didn't get it okay all right very nice very nice very nice so I think that they want to go Varus, uh, Varus Karma or Varus Lulu, and that's why they ban the Thresh preemptively. They don't take the the Kate, yeah. I, I, I'm very doubtful that it's it's Ash support. Very doubtful. All right, Vi gets picked. Now there's Ash and there's Vi. How much to get Morgana jungle, please? Enchant, dude. Black Shield versus Enchanted Crystal Arrow and Vi are. No, f that. Let's just pick the fucking monkey. Here we go. Yeah, great. Okay, cool. No way. Double ADC. Oh my god, Morgana was the nuts, man. This has me nervous for KT, or T1. This is a really volatile draft. So, Narbi- Ooh, BDD. Is he really gonna blind TF? That is a really disrespectful blind, and I don't even understand why. You have Leona, and you have Twisted Fate, so Merc Treads are, like, highly incentivized. Faker better not play like Azir here, man. I will cry. I will literally cry if he just picks Azir. I will cry so hard. Please don't. Please. His being hovered. Ooh, Kassad in the iconic counter. The iconic. A couple of really cool hovers, though, by Faker. This is an interesting... This is a very interesting draft. Now KT are the ones with early game control. Or the Kassadin, if you get the opportunity to. And... All right, all right, all right. ...in terms of peel. A lot here Ooh. Well, this is not the way you wanted to start. This is not the way that you wanted the lane to start. Yep. Jesus. Perfect range. Oh my god. This is the, I mean uh, guys, T1 just have an omega lead right now in bottom. Kassadin doing very good in mid lane. Now the door on shield changes do hurt Kassadin a little bit. Okay, so Guma and Carrier already up a turret plate. Also, Guma started with Call. 
good start. Ooh, owner? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. So, owner? Owner got jumped on. If he doesn't get jumped on, everything's fine. Oh, nice spacing! Beautiful by Zeus! Oh, man. Keen also taking damage from the minions. Owner? Oh, Keen is... Oh, but owner shows... Weird, because they... Wait, what? With the red buff, really trying to make this work, but owner just kind of. If he lands, if he lands that that extra auto, and and then Zeus flashes, he was dead. Oh 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 oh. Wait, did neither of them know about? Wait, there's a ward there, but you notice there's no red icon. This ward was here before T1's ward, and yet there's no red icon. It wasn't pinged. The fact that they, they know the crowning comet is on cooldown, so there's just yeah. no there's no angle here. You have the Wukong ult, and you have to try to use it, but he's zoned. Crowning's supposed to join this game. They try to collapse in here. Nice try to get the jacks away, but T1 are on the run. That's now maybe oh! Ooh, first blood, blood for KT. First blood given over to Keen on the top side. Zay's super Very good. As Cuz trying to follow up here. Faker wants to be the hero. We'll see if he can do it. Maybe not expecting him. His counter strike is used onto him just to zone him away. And down will go Zayu. So a couple of kills finally into the pockets of KT. Yeah, KT we're banking right. on here. And unfortunately, so a little bit unfortunate about the top side shenanigans. Go. Ooh, Garia. Oh, Garia. Oh, but it's going to be. Okay. So it's a one for one. Cuz is starting up the dragon. I feel like. They could blunder this. Heal for heal in mid. Like I mentioned, I think they're gonna make a play for this second drink. This There's no tell. Ah, oh, Keen has TP, but he TP's top. Yeah, T1 does want to contest. They have Ash Arrow, they have Zeriar. No cleanse on aiming. Oh, but he gets the Drake! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy quadra, though, for T1. The problem is that Ocean Dragon is really resident sleeper for both parties. It doesn't do shit for either. So the game should actually be a pretty long game. This is definitely, yeah. I mean, this is a winnable game for KT. I completely agree that this is a, this is, this is a winnable game. KT are first to the dragon. Now, this is the thing I hate about these double ADC team compositions. You have to get so f***ing far ahead in order to justify it in, in, in spots like this, man. All right, well, they're going to go in on Gnar, and, uh, yeah, okay. Oh! But they get him before the transform! Where did their front line go? And Guma's like, I just want a front line to do some damage. He's not going to have one. As here comes KT, they're going to find Guma and get the massive shutdown of gold into the jack. I mean, that fight was... What? I legit don't think T1 can win. I think KT win. Carrier is caught out. BDD is now on the map. Down will go Carrier for free. And we talked about this, like, because... I don't think there's any way for T1 to win, guys. I really don't. Does have an R bar. An owner... Uh, okay, they don't want to flip it. They don't want to flip it. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh my god, man. Oh my god. AT, I, I do legitimately think they win this fight. I don't think that there's a way for T1 with their double AD carry comp to actually beat Jax. Oh, Cuz does take a little bit of damage, but it doesn't matter because Ocean Soul, when they end up getting it. Okay. Now, also, this is a really important fight because I would say that Varus is, like, on par... Not on par with Zeri, but it's the closest that he's ever going to be to Zeri. Okay, no stun there by Keen. Mega is there for Zeus. This is going to come down to a smite fight. If T1 win... If T1 win this... Uh, th okay. So, here we go, here we go. If, if T1 win the smite fight, they win the game. If Cuz... Oh! Uh. Now, Keen, Zanya's... Okay, shock... Uh, wait, whoa, this is a terrible approach. Oh, but it doesn't matter, actually. Never mind. Oh, my God, Keen gets a kill. But Guma is going to kill Keen. Guma kills Keen. Oh, they went too deep, maybe! Oh! Oh! 
Oh my god, T1! Oh, it's so crazy! That was such a bad angle fight by KT, running into the blue side jungle. There was no proper follow-up to the solar flare, and Keen gets brought down. T1 pulling a f***ing rabbit out of the hat, man. I'm going to run to get Salsa really quick. One sec. Mm, KT, look like they want to flip. Baker has smite, too. Baker has smite. Can he win Baron twice, man? Yes, he can, dude! Yes, he can! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 Zeus. He manages to live. Yeah, there's there's no damage as as all of T1's champions drop to like 20% HP. Yeah, there's no there's no damage. There's no damage. Yeah, there's no damage. Yeah, they got the Baron, and when they got the Baron, they should not have kept fighting. They should have disengaged and then used the Baron stats to overpower the Ocean um, at the Elder fight. That's what they. That's what the Baron should have been. It should have been to clean up waves and then fight the Elder Dragon. Guma goes over the wall with the W, has to use his cleanse, cuz flashes away. Look at this, look, look. Faker goes in again. He ends up getting gold carded. Tenacity not enough, even with the Merc Treads. Guma, Guma trying to do stuff too, and then Varus with like everything. Just, oh my God. KT's comp is literally favored in, in fights that are like, that are like actual open uh, or like closed areas. KT's comp is favored. They have Ocean Soul too. And T1 are literally taking a grief fight. All right, the ocean. Okay, the 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 ocean soul here. I mean, T1 or uh, not ocean soul. Sorry. The, I mean, well, the ocean soul is 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 definitely helping sustain them right now. KT, Cuz needs to just get one right. They can't follow up onto BDD. Oh no, Zeus gets tagged there. Zeus still has Mega. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. It's over. It's over. It's over. KT did it. KT did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. Guma, Guma just can't do anything. Guma can't do anything. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Doesn't matter about Costa in 16. It's Jack 16, baby. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Lee Sin B1 by T1. Amazing. Varus getting selected. Wukong. Okay, because apparently just going to be perma on Wukong, I guess. Zaya. I mean, Zaya doesn't make sense because you don't know enough about the enemy. Okay, they're just going to go Zaya Recon. All right, so, I mean, the, their draft is just premeditated without response. I think Zaya, in general, when the opponent doesn't show hard engage, it, uh, she, she is not that strong of an AD carry to where she can just be face up and, you know, be good against everything. It's not what Zaya is. It's really gross to see her picked like that. Okay, there's the Vigar. Really good. Now, obviously, <clears throat> if you didn't have Wukong be picked yet, you could have maybe gotten access to Jarvan. I mean, Renata is pretty common against Zaya Rakan, but still, I mean, there, there's so many support picks that are just open. Dude, I think KT are slamming T- God damn it. I mean, KT, I still think are ahead in draft. KT are ahead right now as we, as we head to B4-B5. So now, it, will Faker actually play Katarina? Or will he play, you know, Kossadin again? But, I mean, there's a Leona there, so I think it's not particularly great. Kasanti mid would be very awkward, because what are you going to blind top lane? So it's probably Kasanti top. Will it actually be Katarina? They do have point and click on the Leona for Cat. So maybe that's enough to not... Yeah, so it is just going to be Kasadin again. I think that Katarina is better. Now let's see if KT can punish accordingly. It's not Garen, it's Jax. Okay. Garen would be so much better in this situation because one, he will run Kasanti over in laning phase. He will be better than Kasanti later. And then his silence will annihilate Kasadin in team fights because all he has to do is match Kasadin. The other thing is that Garen just runs the side lane. So if you have if you have Garen in this game, there is no way to beat Garen in the side lane by anything that T1 has available. His silence will completely annihilate the entire team fight. Anyone inside Event Horizon without Flash, Garen will full combo and delete. Like, I mean, there, there, there's a million reasons why Garen is just better than Jax here. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. Dude, it's so sad. Right. Faker is missing some CS, but it's not the end of the world. Wukong. He had red buff. 
So if Faker tried to go up and try anything, kind of sending a little bit. And really okay, nice force pulse. Danger, now Cuz is here. Wait, who wins this? E? Carrier? Based! Based! Carry with the first move. There you go, there you go. Very, very nice. Ends up. Oh, we got a fight? Oh, we got a fight. We got a fight. Oh, Keen! Oh, he pulls him away. Wait, did Keen get pulled out of it? Oh, okay. I thought. Oh, my God! Zeus is fucking pissed, man. Holy sh. Oh, my God! Owner? Oh, owner throw. Oh, well, 25 gold. 25 gold. Not bad. Not, not bad. <gasps> owner got six. Oh, oh, oh! He'll kick right to the fucking jaw, man. Holy shit. Oh my lord. They use uh they use a translator app <laughs> to communicate. It's adorable. It's adorable, it's adorable. Ooh, Faker! Force pulse! Q oh my lord! That's sad that owner had to flash. That's sad that he had to flash. Alright, I mean, Cuz can't do anything. This game's over, guys. This game, this game, I think, is just over. Kasanti is way too big. Kasanti's way too big relative to Jax. Jax is just not coming up online. Iceborne Wall instead of Protein Shake. I don't know how to feel about it. I guess it's okay, but obviously T1 are going to be a team fighting team later. Nice! R! Brings him right to Owner. Owner doesn't have Dragon Kick, but it's fine. He's so fed they have enough damage. And, and Cuz just can't do anything, man. Cuz is getting kingdomed this game. Rod of Age is still not picked up by Faker, but that doesn't matter. Now, also, you guys see what I mean by the early tier? You see how many stacks it has? I don't know why he gets it so early. Now, I can... Now, don't get me wrong. Having access to the excess mana, it's fine. And delaying your Roa, also fine. I think all of that is totally fine. But, you guys can see that you don't need to get tier this early. Aiming thought he had enough damage. Now, KT can't fight this dragon. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Kasanti is coming. Alright, here we go. Infernal. Uh, cloud. Okay, BDD. Also now just... Alright, BDD. B I, I mean, this is rough, man. They don't even need to double smite here. He does... Okay. Yeah. All right, so they are doing the Baron flip, but they end up getting it. Really, really, really good CC control. Really good by Zeus as well. Buying a whole lot of time. He doesn't even end up going down, but had he gone down and they get the Baron, that would be good. Oh my god. What? Three men by Caria. Super good. Super good. Oh my lord. Faker is just gonna sit on everyone, man. Keen cannot run. Nice. Very well done. Roundhouse kick to Vigar's jaw. Amazing. Yordle abuse. Alright. T1 going to game number three. Very, very, very good by T1. We're Khan and Lee Sin now. So they're just gonna play exactly what they just played last game? Is that the logic? Okay. They're gonna go Jax TF. But now the context is totally different. The context is so different. Okay, will he actually take Fizz? Fizz is really good against Vi and TF. He hovered it in game one. Galio's terrible. Galio's so bad. This is an old response, but it's so bad. The dynamic has changed so much because TF is so tanky, and he has so much more ability to brawl in, in the fights. Twisted Fate is going to cause KT to have some level leads early on. It's nothing to really read into. The most important thing to pay attention to is top lane, because we'll see how the spacing battle is going to go between Zeus and Keen. So it's funny, when, when you take a bathroom break, the ref has to accompany you to the bathroom, and they have to make sure that you're not using your phone or anything. You also have to be directed and instructed to look away from the screens and everything. What is going on here? What is, what is happening? That's a really good taunt. Will Cuz go down? He will. Okay. 
Pez goes down, but I... Oh, big knockup by Kara, but I think they just get aced. Yeah, they, they just get aced here, actually. Holy... Dude, KT are so far ahead now. They're so far ahead. They're legit, like, what is going on? Zeus needs to not fall behind to Jax. If Zeus falls behind, this game will end. Because T1 are drafting... I mean, okay, if T1 loses this series, I will do a fully dedicated draft... Oh my god! As Flash has to be used from Zeus, the spacing is there. One more Q could do it. He's not gonna continue forward. Oh man. Also, we'll do a fu oh. <laughs> fully dedicated draft kingdom to to what what, what is obviously going on. Yeah, I mean the all the all is not high value. Now what we're getting to see in this team fight is a glimpse of the late stage team fights. Twisted Fate has too much ability haste, and he's too tanky compared to Galio. Galio is just a walking, steaming pile of fucking rock shit, okay? He's like completed Karn, man. Like, it's just, it's terrible. Again, that dragon fight is a glimpse into the future. A lot of durability is Aeos No Flash. Nice! Pushes him back. Nice! Rips him out of the sky. Really good. I mean, I've been talking about TF actually um, the, a, a little bit these, these past couple of weeks that the Rod of Ages build, I think, makes him viable again because he's so durable, he can stay in the fights and he can dish out damage. And he has, he has good ability haste. He's so tanky. I mean, okay, let's see. Oh, the knockup does land. Okay, okay. Nice Everfrost. And, oh yeah, look, Galio. Oh, you're Galio. Oh, isn't that amazing? Because you're Galio. You have no fucking damage. You have no damage because your champion is, oh my god, Boner! Boner! Eugify! Woo! The blue card! Oh! It's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. So this is pretty huge. Okay, hold on. Here we go, going deep, and this is what this comp can do. There is no escape for Guma. He doesn't have ult. He doesn't have flash. Guess what? He used it desperately to try to kill BDD. Carrier here. Oh. Like he will survive. Okay, a little bit of a flank, but Zeus is not a Meganar. He's desperately trying to kill a TF, and he will as Boomerang comes out. The Jesus. Zeus, Aiming. Double kill for the Zeri, guys. Guys, <laughs> I... KT have done it. They they have literally made match point, man. They've made match point. Oh! Oh! Cuz following! Very well done! Oh! KT? Alright. Can Zeus get the transform? He does, but it's over the wall! Okay. I mean, this is all right. I, I like at least this one's more understandable why they're fighting. I mean, Faker can't do anything, man. Galio is so fucking useless. Can we? Can we all please just accept that Galio is so fucking useless? You know what? I mean, realistically, you just take Silas. If you want to match Twisted Fate Ultimate but not be on a useless champion, you take Silas. KT is about to take down the the All Pro first LCK team. Amazing. All right, owner, owner's dead now too. Owner's dead. Yeah, owner's dead. Yeah, he's just dead. He's gonna get over the wall here. Okay. Wait, no fucking way, Keen. Are you griefing? I, I can't even think of anything to talk about right now because T1 are just so far. But I mean, the the game is so one-sided, man. We're just waiting for the climax. Twelve thousand gold deficit. I mean, I don't know what they're even supposed to do. They basically need a multi-man Rakan Taunt into multi-man Nar Ultimate into multi-man Zaya ult. That's how they win a fight. But if, like, you believe that that can happen, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you must be drunk or something. I'm not, I mean, yeah, it can happen, like, one in a thousand times or, like, one, you know, some, some ridiculous number. Okay. Faker loses a lot. Okay. Baker almost just dies. Okay, Vi gonna go in. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, Cuz. All right, so Cuz does have GA. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what is the timing on my fucking comments? I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> Dude, I can't, man. Why does Cuz Lightyear press R into Galio? Why, man? Why? Oh, what is happening in this game? It's not real. And now, okay. Keen has teleport. Keen has teleport. All right. So even after everything, okay, Faker should be able to now get to Ravadon's death cap. Guy, guy in chat, please. Please don't flame me, okay? We're actually going to game five, KT versus T1. What is going to be the final draft? If T1 loses the series, I will, I will fucking do a, a, a whole dedicated Draft Kingdom video to it. My lord, I mean, I might do it anyway. It doesn't even, I mean, I guess it's good content, right? Because it's T1 and it's hilarious. Because if there's any team that you would ever want to be the argument for playing early game or, you know, snowball -y team compositions, it would be T1. And then even in a game where they get the early snowball, it still fails. I think it's really good examples. Leeson, banned away by KT. What's going to be the B1? It, will it be Caitlyn? Wait, why Wukong B1? Now, will KT take Caitlyn? They could just go Kate Lux right now. No, they're going to opt for Varus. Aiming wants to play Varus. So they might go Varus, and then if T1 go Kate Lux B2, B3, then Varus takes Karma on R3. No, not Zin, dude. No. Zin needs double enchanter, or he needs at least one enchanter. One enchanter's like passable but okay they're gonna go Zyra Khan they're not opting for Caitlyn interesting BDD's Talia now I feel like Talia is pretty useless in general me and Crony talked about this yesterday in uh, LCS it feels like Talia needs so much time to come online and actually start doing things by the way this does not feel like game five music I don't know how you guys feel this really does not feel like game five music this is so weird for game five. By the way, Lahens, I think, dyed his hair black. It looks unnaturally black. Do you know what I mean? It looks so black as if there's dye on top of it. It's going to be the last choice. I do agree. It's really difficult, especially with a lot of support stuff available. And so they are going to ban the Jax instead. Jax gets banned away. And now, uh, what? Blitz? What? No! Okay. I was gonna say, are they confident enough that they can ask T1 right now? As Faker's best champion in the later parts of the season was his Grog, so the first team yeah. to make it. I mean, so Keen could just take so Yasuo here. He could. Jace? Guys, no, man, no. No, man, no. Grogus is nuts versus everything KT has. Faker is about to be Officer Nasty, man. Holy shit. Draft specialist that the game has ever had on MTG Online. For limited. I was going to have a, a, a talk. Oh my god, nice solo by Keen. Holy shit. This might be it. This might be it. Keen can do it, man. Keen can bring down the thunder, man. Okay, if Jace gets big enough... Wow, nice flash. Nice flash. Oh, here's Cuz, though. They're not going to be able to do anything more. Okay. Good usage of uh, the observers. So, Jace, Jace is the one champion that can really save the game for KT. If his Shock Blaster is just so big and everyone gets softened up so much before fights even transpire. Oh, Keen. Doesn't have flash. Got to be a little bit careful here. Owner? Oh, they trap owner! I think, I think this is the game. I think it's coming home. Okay. And Talia is very good into these quote-unquote safe laners because she could just constantly chip away at them. And oh, Faker's dead! Oh my lord! Oh no, he's not. He's not dead. That was a beautiful cask. That was a really, really, really beautiful cask. Now, Mountain Dragon should go the way of KT. And now level 6 also for KT. Let's see if they get the Mountain Dragon. Guma, what are you doing? Fucking why? You don't need the vision! What is going on? Oh my, this is it. This is it. This is it. 1100 gold lead versus T1 at 8 minutes. This is like super crazy. And also, where they have all the gold advantage is exactly where you want it. It's in the Varus, it's in the Jace. Cuz now. Seems like he wants to start the Herald, but okay. Well, they, they hook Faker. That's not good. 
Faker, but he's gonna lose. What is, okay, so T1 want to get this Rift Herald, but here comes Keen. T1 lose this fight. T1 lose this fight. I don't know what they're doing. T1 lose. Okay. Wait, what? Well, that was that was okay. Is perfect, but the Crescent Guard is just too good, and that's two kills going over to KT Rolster. The eye is picked up by Zayas. Oh my god, that was beautiful! They did everything right, they just didn't have the damage. But also, it is a terrible fight. T I mean, Faker, Faker landed his full combo. Let's look at this from Cuz. Crescent Guard flashes away and it makes him immune even to Ignite. So right now, if you're KT, I mean, you just you literally just wait until next dragon and you 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 fight that, you fight the Herald. You don't you don't. I mean, they. they I I think looking actively for plays is not super great. They're gonna pick up this kill on Faker. Now, when I say uh, when I say looking for plays, I don't, I don't mean like looking for like kills like this one on Faker. What I mean is that like as the game develops, don't try to go for like cheese things. Don't randomly force fights. Now this is not KT forcing the fight. This is definitely T1 forcing the fight. It's over. It's over. T1. T1 have mentally collapsed. He does have flash. There it is as on the chase is carry up. And he will get the charm in. Cycle aiming. Comes in. He'll use aiming. Trying to survive. He aiming. stands alive and finally he gets knocked down. Okay, owner, owner lives. Owner lives. Owner lives. BD do, but doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. They can kill the hens. They can kill the hens. Guma will kill. Oh my god. Yeah, Guma still kill. Oh, Faker! Officer Nasty! Oh my lord! Officer Nasty. Wait, what? They will make this happen. Faker going to tank a lot of turret shots here. Cuz wants to come over and lock him down. Flash. He's dead. Now. Oh! Yep, doesn't matter. Cuz going to take Almost, almost, almost. That was crazy. So that's a lot of gold going into That was crazy. That was crazy. KT are just playing really solid. And the big takeaway is all that is really happening is they're just winning. They're winning the skill checks versus T1. And they're getting micro advantages early. And then T1 keeps going for things that they can't go for because they're behind. And they just can fall apart. Cloud is very, very good for T1. If that was Infernal or Hextech, they're not going to be able to fight Third Dragon, and then it's another powerful Drake that would go to KT, and then you're you're facing Soul Point, and it's just it's horrifying. This is a T1 moment where you can turn this game back around, but they don't have any vision here. They probably have to back away. Cuz going in. Cuz. Okay, he has Crescent Guard, so he's taking no damage. Nice. Owner manages. Nice. They take down Keen. They take down Keen. Aiming. Officer Nasty. Faker. Holy. Bounce down. Officer Nasty, dude. Oh my lord, Faker. Now, it's a 4 gig gold lead for KT. Okay. Cuz. Oh. Now, Cuz doesn't have flash. KT has to play this very carefully. Oh no, Faker. Faker messed up. Oh no. Oh, did he mess up? Wait. Zanya's. Officer Nasty! They did it, dude! Jesus! Have gone a little bit too deep, a little bit too far, and now they're on the run. And T1, maybe they've got an angle here. Uh, no, Officer Nasty! Oh, wait off! God damn it, Talia! Stunner! Throw a rock at her! Pull her back in! Oh my God! Spit on it! What? What? What did I say? <laughs> now Guma's so happy, dude. Jesus Christ. Dude, Faker, Officer, Nasty. 
you get caught by the cask, then the follow-up from Caria hits. And then the Zanyas. Oh my god, they tunneled on trying to get Faker. They tunneled on it. And they just got punished for it, man. The Gragas is the hero in this game. He's the only champion that can resist the enemy team comp. It's so f***ing nice. I think I think T1 have it now. I think T1 have it. KT got so close. Now, I mean, realistically, what you do here if you're KT... Okay, well, hold on. Faker just missed. Faker, Faker blundered. He, Faker, Faker blundered. Realistically, if you're KT here, I think you give this Cloud Dragon. You give this Cloud Drake, and you just let the game go another, you know, another six minutes or so. And you get more items on Varus. You get another Dirk on Jace. You have Jace try to get to Edge of Night. Owner looking for looking for a flank. Oh, this is a flank. This is a singular cloud drake. You can see that they are going to respect it because still on the drake. Ooh. Oh, owner. Clone came up again. Oh, Lahenza's Lahenza's messing up. Lahenza's really messing up. Now Faker's taking a lot of damage. He's holding the dragon. Now he is Gragas. Now Zeus is about to run out. Wait, what is owner doing? I don't- that was weird. That was really weird. Wait. Uh, okay, but it's fine. They got it aiming. They got it aiming. Lahenz is dead now, too. Cuz is dead, too. They tunneled for a dragon that's just not worth it. And I- I mean, we just said, like, a minute ago, they should just give the dragon up. Scale. Let Varus try to get to Cyrildas. Let Jace try to get to Edge of Night. Faker- can save this game a million times over, man. He baited Cuz Lightyear into the pit by holding the dragon aggro. What a fucking god. Holy sh! I mean, look at this, look at this, look at this. You could only justify what Cuz does here if that is like Mountain or Hextech or Infernal Soul. Any other soul, you cannot justify it. Now, the fucking asterisk here is that it's not even a soul. It's not even a soul. It's soul point now. But like that is not worth. Oh, Zeus, can they get Lahens? Oh, Lahens is gone. I mean, owner is so tanky too. All right, now without Lahens, they can just do Baron and they can turn. Guma is also gonna get red buff. Ooh, Officer Nasty looking for Cuz. Cuz level 14, owner level 16. As they've got full vision here around the edge of the pit. This is super good. Very important smites for your career is in the Oh! Carry a no, no! What is this? Oh, it's so much damage! Oh, that was not the play, man. That was not the play. I mean, KT are back in this. Whoa, 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 Guma! Woo! The assassin! Oh my god, Officer Nasty. Oh, flash or flash. Nice. And now Faker with teleport. Oh, Zeus might dog him down. Nope. Wait, they might actually go... They might call for the end. They might TP Faker onto the wave? Yeah, 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 and Zeus is trying to chase. I mean, the inhibitor is not just the follow-up Baron. It's also potentially the game. They're just gonna hop over, yep. Are they calling for the end? Are they gonna bring the ending? It looks like it, man. Holy s balls. Cuz is down, okay, shock blast hits. Here comes the redemption. Wow, that he's lucky that that did not hit. Okay, they're going for the Baron. All right, uh, this is it. Redemption available. Here we go. The quickness. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Karia is just gone. Where are you at? He's trying to desperately carry this game from the depths. And Zeus, he had a snar bar set. That's why he was flanking there. Oh my God! And just like that, Baron stifled. So okay, I lose the bet. I'm not even mad that I lose the bet, dude. I'm not even mad. Holy. This game is getting hype. Oh my god, Carrier's hand was shaking. Okay. Oh, can KT actually burst the Drake? Wow. T1 wants to just kill Lahens and then with Lahens down, try to win. Beautiful combo. Beautiful combo. Beautiful combo. Oh my god, dude. Gandalf. Ooh, owner taking a little bit of damage. They have the super minions in bot wave. They want to get this top inhibitor. 
Dude, what a series, man. Oh! Not the best cask. But it don't matter. They got his they got his GA. Okay. And oh, perfect timing. Zeus messed up. Oh my god! Keen! Oh my god! But! But! Oh shit! Aiming! Oh my god, the cannon minion! Oh Jesus Christ, the quadra kill! My god! What is going on? But the problem- No! No, he has to get the mid- the mid minions! Okay, he's gonna get the, the mid inhibitor. Oh my god! So okay, right here, Faker messes up his R. So watch his R, watch his R. Ah. That was a little sad. Now right here, Faker perfectly times body slam. Look at this. Boom. Perfect. Now right here, Karia tries to engage, but he doesn't have the distance to cover it. Zayers gets bopped down. Aiming just doing so much work. I mean, the Nexus turret, I guess, actually added value there. I'm not sure. And then aiming charges arrow a little bit too soon. Okay. Oh, man. KT. Now on the Baron. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're going to be able to get it, I think. The Redemption comes out. Yeah, they, they get Baron. They get Baron. They get Baron. Can they get out? Cuz had Flash. He could have just gone to the back of the pit. He could have gone to the back of the pit. He's on the run. Oh, he dodges it. Oh, the cast, but it doesn't matter. He should have just gone to the back of the pit and flashed the wall. Cuz might... That, that might be game. That might be game. Because Cuz wanted to fucking hold his Flash. I mean, the fact that aiming and Lehens both have Flash is really scary. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, they found owner. They found owner. Top class goes out. Oh! Lens! There's no smite, but wait a second! Cuz! Cuz Lightyear! Oh my god! Oh, but Carrier died too. Oh my god. Carrier died too. Carrier died too. That's really bad. Holy sh. I was about to make a joke when they said that they're taking out T1's jungler, but, you know, obviously the casters forgot that Cuz Lightyear was just acting. He's a sleeper agent. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> BDD has flash. They've cleared out. They've cleared out the base. Okay. Now, with the Baron minions in bottom, KT is going to get Elder. KT's going to get Elder. There's no smite, but you have Varus WQ. Oh! Officer Nasty! Holy sh! Oh, but Goma! Oh, no! No! Guma, no! No! 52! He can't, he can't do it without Nar. He can't do it without Nar. And he's on- Oh my god. I think he's gonna try to chase them. Now, the, the, the thing is, is that it's just one Elder, man. It's just one Elder. With Gragas Cask and Zaya, Wave Clear, etc. They should be able to reset the game at least one more time. Let's take a look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Boom, boom, boom. Guma, Gale Forced in for no reason. He Gale Forced for no reason. Faker had it, man. Faker won them the fight. Oh, that was so sad. Faker did so much, man. Faker is like the hero MVP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what happens. Wait, what's the crowd reaction when they lose the fight? <laughs> One shot up mid. Nope, they're not going to do it. They're going to go for Baron. They're starting the Baron. This is a terrible decision. This is a terrible decision. They would have much more of a chance by going mid, trying to... No! Oh, my God! Cuz, no! He flashed instead of Blast Cone! Cuz is dead! Cuz Lightyear! This is so crazy! Mm, Cloud Soul, ooh. Dude, any other soul, by the way, KT just wins every single fight. Jesus Christ, it's so sick. No! No! 
Zayus as well. Two pinks go the way of KT. Zayus goes into his TA. Carrier is dead. Carrier! Okay, wait. Hold the phone. Okay, but there's not a lot of damage here in this fight outside of Zaya. She still has ult. It's gonna have Oh, to Jesus ult. Christ. Okay, four on four, four on four. KT, team to win this. KT just can't let them start it, right? They, they don't have a smite, so they just have to fight only. Unless you can keep at least forever, basically. You're never really threatening an Elder Drake. And Cus, oh my. I mean, Cuz does not have teleport when he respawns, so. Yeah, no. T1 have the advantage of the KT are on a timer right now. They need to hit this poke and they're not. They're this not is crazy. Zayus is on the edge here. KT, they cannot give this up. You're the gonna have to find an angle. Two is just so much value. <laughs> That's okay. That's to get clone. the clone, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, some at some point you're gonna have to engage. Lands has flash ult. Yeah, okay, you gotta go hook misses and change miss. Zayus has Nar. Zayus, Mega Nar. No GA. In he goes. Carry yeah. arm as Skuma goes so far forward. And oh! Guma! Guma gets the double! They did it! I think that might just be it. We have a respawn of Cuz. And no smite right now for an owner. Officer Nasty, dude! On the run. Down he will go. Is CP into the base? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you kidding me, Kane? He has GA, but I don't think he can end. I don't He's think he can end. end. Oh, this. The damage. Okay. So many minions here. He got so many backs out. He's hitting the turrets. Can anyone take him out? What is going on, man? He's going to hold the backs. The Elder didn't go up. Zaya, the Elder's Zaya still, still going. They're still pushing. T1 are still pushing. They stopped. GA? Cuz is up. He's going to go on to Guma. He's going to challenge Guma. I think they've done it. Oh, Cuz. Cuz. Time the minion. Cuz the minion. Oh, he's gonna get it. Okay, no, there's another wave. There's another wave coming in. I think they. Those flashes. Cuz is just going into a GA. <sighs> Eskuma's so low, and he's gonna back up. Make sure he takes down Cuz. I think they've done it. T1 have finally won the game. T1 take game number five. They take game number five in this telecom war against KT. Down goes the Nexus, and T1 do it.